Hey, it's Brooke Hoover, and I'm going to compare a uh, Fender Reverb unit to a Surfy Bear running through a Champ. All in the name of science. Okay, the Surfy Bear is from Surfy Industries. I'm plugged into, uh, got my input right here. Output's going to the amp. Here it's turned off. Now let's turn it on. You've got your volume control. Tone. And mixer. More. Less. Let's max it out. Let's go, here's dwell. Let's add dwell all the way to the top. Let's take the mix down. that on off feature so I love reverb but I would rarely crank it that high so I would kind of trim it down a little bit let's jump over to the fender unit here's my input and oh let's this has dwell mixer and tone let's put them on five let's max them out mixer down a little bit back to five I usually run it kind of safe that sounds pretty good Let's jump back over to the Surfy Bear. I still love this guy, but I would not kick this one out. Oops. Hey, what happened there? Turn the amp down a little bit and give it the old. Hey, what's going on here? Give me some crashing. <laughs> so this guy, you can give it the boot and it'll give you your wonderful crash. Let's just jump over here. Give it a crash. I'm definitely interested in the Surfy Bear. 
I'm lucky to have two of these. cables. I think they're both great. I love them both. I don't care. I really don't care. <laughs> they're great. If you can't afford one of these, this might be better. <laughs> it definitely beats uh, a reverb pedal. I mean, what fun is that? A digital reverb. It's Those are perfectly functional, but I'm old, so I like springs and tubes and all that crap. All right, man. Get practicing. <laughs>